So I was on Instagram the other day and I was scrolling through my Instagram feed until I come across this image that just really stood out to me. It is from a guy called Fezia underscore SNK underscore and it's basically hand reaching out and I'll show you it here. And it just really stood out to me because it was something different. I've never seen it before. It made the image feel like it was actually coming out of the screen slightly. So I want to try and recreate that myself. This right here is the final image that I got and let me just show you how I did it. So this image would only work if you've got depth in the image, like you obviously need to have something either reaching out or you have an object in the front, you need to have two distinctive things, you need to have a background and a foreground that can actually reach out and be out of the frame, theoretically. You also want to be shooting in portrait mode instead of landscape mode just because of the format of Instagram and Facebook, like it looked better and more effective having more of a picture in the frame on your phone rather than having a little of a sliver across the screen. Obviously I got the image. First off, I opened it up in Lightroom, did a little bit of colour correction, making the images a little bit nicer, and then I went into Photoshop and carried it on. First, we have to make the frame by creating a new layer and using the Select tool to paint a white background. Then duplicate the layer and move it onto the other side to complete the frame. Next, we need to make the hand appear in front of the frame to create the 3D illusion. By using the Magnetic Lasso tool, we can cut out the hand with precision. We can use the Refine Edge button to smoothen the cut. Once cut, we then need to copy the layer and move it in front of the frame. Now to make the effect feel real, we need to create a shadow to cast onto the frame. We can do this by painting the hand black and then make the shadow more blurry by using the Gaussian Blur tool. Using the slider to adjust how blurry the shadow is, then move the black shadow layer under the hand and move it so that it's more exposed onto the frame. Then select the inverse of the frame and erase the black paint which isn't covering the frame to make the shadow feel real. So then afterwards I did the exact same thing but on the other side I used the forearm to put it in front of the frame and created a shadow to make it look like it is 3D. So then that's the final image, it looks really nice, really cool, it's a nice little idea to put on Facebook or Instagram to really show off onto your feed. It makes the image really stand out and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you like, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!